Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to grab a key bidding, so how to get the profile and the shape and the numbers and depths of a key using digital calipers. This should be a pretty short video, so here we go, let's just get right into it. So I have these printout sheets available on my web store in our digital download pack. So you print these out, you fold them up, make a little pocket so that when you're in the field, you can go, all right, I'm gonna grab the bidding from this key. Where are we at? Well, it's the key for this training stand door. So the location is training, T-R-A-I-N, I can spell. Uh, and you look at the key and this one will say on it, quick set, they don't always, but this is a quick set key, KW1. And we're gonna start reading from the bow of the key towards the tip of the key. And we can see we're gonna measure these, these flat parts, these plateaus. So there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the third one, there's the fourth one, there's the fifth one, and then we're at the end. So we actually won't use that sixth placement in our key pouch. And now we're ready to rock. So I will take my calipers, I will put them on, I'll open them up and put them on the first plateau here. There we go. And the breathing says 7.10. It doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to take that number and I can write just that on my key sheet here, or I can transform that info and go, which number here is the closest, closest to 710? How about 719, which is a, it's a depth cut of three for quick set. And these are from Deviant Olaf. This is his uh, GitHub info. So position three. So I'll just write position three here. And then I'm gonna go down to the next plateau. Open these up a little more, crunch them down. We're on the second flat and that gives us 8.31. Let's go to our cheat sheet. What is the closest to 8.31? How about 8.36? That's a cut of one. So we'll write one here, moving right along. Third plateau, 7.1 again. And we know from earlier, that's a depth cut of three. So one, two, three. We're on the fourth plateau now, that's really deep. That's what she said. All right, 5.41. Go to our cheat sheet. What's the closest to 5.41? 5.44, which is a depth cut of six. So we're, we're gonna write six there. And the last one, open up. The last flat plateau, five, oh, six. All right, let's, what's the closest to six here? It's gonna be 602, which is a depth cut of five. So now we have a KW1 blank, so a quick set five pin blank. We have the depth cuts of the key that gives us the profile or the bidding. And we start from left to right or from the bow towards the tip. And now we have all the information we need to either cut our own key or to have someone cut a key for us. We can also check a secondary uh, method to see if our measurements are correct. So this is a key gauge card. It's made of metal. And we're just going to scroll right around and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the first plateau. I'm gonna put it in on the deep part here and I'm gonna slide it until it stops and it goes all the way almost to the, f here I'll show you, all, almost to the four. So that's a three. Oh, the card says three, we're good. Now the second position, I slide it down. It doesn't even make it to the two, so that's a one. Okay, the one looks good. Third position should be a three again. That's a, you can see the third plateau is on the three position, it won't make it to the four. Okay, the fourth position should be a six. So I slide it almost all the way down. And that's correct. And the fifth one should be a five. Yep, so we've now confirmed with a secondary device to check our bidding. 
So now we have all the info we need to get ourselves a new key. We have an upcoming course in 2022 that myself and my instructors, we're gonna teach you how to draw this information uh, operationally in the field. So not just the theory in the classroom setting, but how to get this information in some really unique ways and how to exploit that. Uh, so we hope you stick around. In the meantime, check out our website, utac.io. We have a gear store, we have two books out, we're working on the third, and we just really are excited to share some information and we hope to see y'all soon. Thanks for watching.